go ahead and open up your radiator cap. Make sure that the engine is cool and has been shut down for a while. Never open this when the engine has been running and or hot. Then go ahead and use our hose clamp tool here. That's loose, we'll just wiggle that back. Now with your catch can underneath, you wanna go ahead and get that hose free. So we're just gonna spin it first. And work the hose back just a little bit. Now we're gonna go ahead and loosen the fan clutch nut by turning it counterclockwise. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this or loosen this clamp. And we're gonna work our upper radiator hose off. And go ahead and set that aside. Go ahead and pop out that hose like so. And go ahead and pop that clip right here. Just to free that up. Let's go ahead and lift up on the shroud here. Okay. With the shroud loose, what we're gonna do now is reach down and we have our clutch fan loose. I'm gonna go ahead and spin that counterclockwise. So I'm actually loosening the fan clutch by just grabbing the fan. You can see the nut loosening. You can also reach down and try and move it. Whatever works for you. Using a 3 8 drive ratchet or breaker bar, go ahead and press down. You know, move the belt off and release the tensioner. Go ahead and take the belt off completely. Using a 13 millimeter, we're gonna go ahead and remove the water pump pulley bolts here. Let's go ahead and remove the pulley. You want to have a catch can underneath the vehicle at this point here because we're going to go ahead and remove the 10 millimeter bolts off of the water pump and separate that from the engine block. Now you want to clean the surface of where the water pump was bolted to you want to clean off any residual gasket material that's here. You don't want to use a razor blade or a gasket scraper because this is aluminum and you don't want to gouge it. We're going to use some fine sandpaper on a flat block of wood and gently sand back and forth. This will resurface it and clean up that surface for us. And go ahead and install our water pump gasket. And go ahead and line things up. I'm going to start with one bolt through. We'll line this up and get one of these studs started. And get the other bolt started as well. Now that we have all the bolts started, we're just going to go ahead and snug them gently. Get and torque these down to 89 inch pounds. So we're gonna go ahead and take the flange of the water pump. I just like to line up 
the upper bolt at 12 o'clock. It makes it easier for me to line up my pulley here. I'm gonna put a bolt through and do the rest for the other three. Let's go ahead and snug up these bolts. Now we're gonna go ahead and install our serpentine belt. Once you get your belt on, you wanna go through all of the pulleys, make sure that all the grooves lined up with all the pulleys. It should be all set. I'm gonna use a screwdriver and just put it from bolt to bolt. And I'm gonna go ahead and torque these bolts to 18 foot-pounds. And I'll go ahead and install our lower radiator hose. Let's go ahead and install our fan shroud. Once we get it into a certain point, we're gonna go ahead and get our fan loaded up inside here, like so. And then we drop them down in together. So on the bottom side of the radiator shroud, there are plastic pins. There's two of them and they go into the eyelets just below the radiator. We'll go ahead and get those set in. Now work our AC line around the shroud here so we can get our clip mounted up again. Then we have our tabs here for the shroud that go into the radiator itself. So we're gonna lift this up again a little bit. Once the shroud is lined up, we're going to go ahead and reattach our AC line retainer clip. Now we'll go ahead and get our fan started here. I'm going to use a pair of pliers here and snug up that nut. Install our upper radiator hose. Pop it onto the radiator. I'm gonna go ahead and open up our overflow tank cap here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and fill the radiator using the manufacturer recommended fluid for this vehicle. Now in the expansion tank or the overflow tank, there is a fill cold line on this here. So you wanna go ahead and add coolant to this as well. Put on our cap. Now we have our fluid all set. We're now gonna go ahead and start the vehicle and get up to operating temperature. We're gonna watch the fluid here. If the engine needs more coolant, we're gonna add it through here and not through the hot radiator cap. Add accordingly, and then you'll be all set.